Hey, good morning, everyone. I want to show you a project I'm working on. It's Friday morning. I think it's like the 30th of August or something like that, going into Labor Day weekend. I want to show you a road building project I'm making. This, what you see here, in front of you on this side, um, sorry about the noise, I'm right up by the road by one of my hugo culture beds. Um, I, this thing used to look like this. You notice how there's a raised center um, that's just basically rubble and it's kind of impassable. It used to look like that. What I'm doing is I'm cutting this down with hand tools um, and some of the brush I've been whacking away with the, uh, what do you call it, brush mower. But um, I kind of wanted to show it to you because it's one of these things they used to do a long time ago and they don't really do much of it anymore. But when you cut a road by hand, one of the things that, um, yes, I drove on it before it was ready. If you notice, I took a trailer back in there of uh, material for one of the cabins and just left it back there. I'm going to unload it today. But if you notice, one of the things that I have to deal with here is the grade. Not only is it going up, but it's also turning. And I've got a couple of stumps, one on the left. You can see the maples coming out of it uh, right uh, in front of the truck there. And then, I'm sorry, one on the right, which is your camera right. And one on the left, you can see the other one over there. So I kind of have to make a cut between them. And what I have to do is, without affecting the bed up there where you see the brush mower, I have to basically make a gradual turn into this drive that drops about six feet from top to bottom. Basically, um, I then have to fill in the ruts on other side of the road. What I'm doing is I'm cutting out the stuff that's in the middle and I'm piling it here and here. You can see some of the work I've done here already in grading it where I have put Rocks is basically a mini hookah culture bed, but I've done it for the purpose of drainage as well as um, uh, Having a solid base under my wheels. What I've done is I've put rocks and about two three four six inch logs broken up in pieces under the outside on both sides actually I haven't gotten into this side quite yet, but what I'm doing is I'm using the chainsaw to cut out logs like these that are wedged into the ground um, right here uh, it doesn't really come up very well um, I wanted to show you something that I had to do if you look at this you notice there's some cut marks on this log I had to cut pieces out of it and the reason is when I first tried to come through here with that trailer I ended up having a bit of an accident. What happened was I didn't know this was here. I thought the ground was clear enough and I impaled it. I'm gonna go up to the truck and show you. I impaled that log or the front end that's now cut off under my truck. You can look here and see that the um, little skid that is supposed to be there continues all the way across is broken off and gone. You could see the marks under um, the truck there, I basically drove it right into my radiator, punctured my radiator, and I had to go get another one from a pick apart. Um, I ended up working all day yesterday to yank the old one out, put the new one in, the truck's back in operation. Um, the whole off-grid thing, I tell you, you have to be very mechanically inclined in some things. Um, being out here, getting a tow truck was impossible, um, meaning getting one to come into the brush would have been ridiculously impossible, especially considering the fact that the truck was stuck on the front side of that trailer you see in the distance there, and I had to somehow get it out of there. I'm going to walk it and show you while I tell you the story. Basically, um, I had to very quickly get the truck knowing that there was just, I mean, the fluid was basically spilling out. And I figured I had about maybe a minute or two uh, before the engine started to heat up. So I basically, uh, very quickly, unhitched the trailer, um, basically left it where it stood on a stump, drove out as quickly as I could while I still had power and the engine behaving, 
got back up to the road and made it around to the other side of the property, I'd say in about three minutes. Um, I think it's pretty quick, but the long and the short of it is that um, you should be careful when you uh, work and land like I'm working here, where you've got, it was cut a while ago, they left a bunch of debris, I mean, I always joke and say, I've got firewood for a lifetime, I really do. Anywhere on these 20 acres I look, I've got something like this. And it is going to be an interesting chore to get back in here. This is what I ended up doing. If you noticed, when I bogged down there, I bent my jack. So I have to come back. Uh, I'm making the road better. I'm gonna come in, hook onto the trailer. I'm gonna kinda come in from the side over here, pull forward, hook onto the trailer, and then see if I can back it up a little bit and then make a 180 degree turn. Um, I'm gonna have to clear some of all of this. I got my work cut out for me. It's not the first time I've done it, so I'm not freaking out or anything like that. But I kinda wanna just show you some of the jam ups you get into that throw off your entire schedule. It takes about three, four days to get it resolved. Once I'm done, um, I have to cut a trail back in here and I am going to begin setting up the I'm basically dropping reclaimed material. I'm gonna clean up uh, back there. Windows and a few other things that are all strapped down and pulled left and right. Um, I'm gonna to use to build my second and third cabins on this side. Actually, I should say my first and second cabins on this side. Um, the reason is just because there's a uh, uh, second and third one started on the other side. Um, as some of you may know, I'm going for 12 cabins across the uh, back line of the property. Um, and uh, if you want to know what I'm doing with them, you can email me or something like that and ask about it. Um, basically, I am going to make my way all the way back. I'm not going to do it right now, but back behind that cedar you see over there. And that's where the building sites are going to begin going that way. And... Uh, Again, there'll be seven on this side total, five on the other side, and um, someday, uh, if you come through these parts, I love the hills up beyond the view we get. Anyway, someday, if you ever come through these parts um, and you say hello to me, maybe we'll put you up in one of the cabins and uh, teach you something about, um, well, hugo culture, the food forest here that... I'm beginning to plant and uh, just all the other stuff that's going on on the property. Um, anyway, take care. Just a little update on how this process is going. All right.